It's about 8 a.m. Tuesday, November 7th. Um, so I fed them 50 pounds of food total yesterday. They didn't quite finish it all off. When I came back after messing with the cows, they were all sitting on the ground with a pile of food. Is it? Do you want to fill it up? The other one's full though, right? All right, here, hand me my coat. The temperature, it's about 65 degrees right now. It's very humid. There is uh, a lot of fog. <laughs> and we're expected to get like a tiny amount of rain, just like, you know, Washington State rain, where it just kind of drizzles, you know. 0 0.01 inches here, 0 0.01 inches there. So just fractions of a millimeter. So... Uh, thankfully, I came this morning. None of the chickens were hurt, so they're safe through the night tonight. At least it was warm tonight, so it should be fine when it's warm outside. <laughs> Jennifer's refilling the uh, the water for me. <clears throat> so today, in the afternoon, I'm gonna come bring the kids. Probably about one o'clock or two o'clock, and we're gonna set up some netting. Um, just do a half-hearted attempt at netting. I don't have any decoys. We're probably gonna go to the store, the feed store, ask if they have any decoys, um, owls, crows, and we'll probably make a scarecrow. That'll be kind of a fun project, you know. Take some old clothing and stuff it full of something. Make a scarecrow, and. Uh, I'm told that all of those things help. So, but after the last attack, the chicken, the hawk was able to get the wing of the chicken. Um, I had to kill it, unfortunately, and uh, we were able to get the wing of the chicken. Uh, the reason why the hawk left was probably because it was threatened by something here. Oh, another thing I wanted to do was I wanted to build roosts, just like little tiny roosts, just to keep them off the ground. Um, They'll probably do better if they have roosts. You know, just like a, a board that's standing on its side that they can, uh, it's stable, you know. Right? You guys are still chirping. Some of you starting to cluck. But you guys are still chirping like little chicks. The size difference between these two. Like, look. Look at this, uh, look at this guy here. Come here. Right? Look at and then they compare that with, like, let's grab this guy here. See the difference here? These guys are so different in size. I'm surprised this guy's as calm as he is. You know? Anyway, there is a smell out here. I should move them. Um. I wonder if that's just the feed smell, I don't know. But there's a smell. Maybe I'll move them too this afternoon. I think I will. That's what I'll do. I'll probably just move them, just move them this way. Give them the bushes to hide in and, I, I don't know, maybe give them less net, less area. I'm not sure. All right guys, signing off. Have a great day. Take care, bye-bye.